Hello, I'm Dirk Kelly, a husband, father, software developer, activist and candidate in the Western Australian state elections of 2021, running alongside Marianne McKay and Sam Wainwright, two dedicated, hardworking and long-standing activists. Together with the support of our party members, we're running the South Metropolitan Region and Fremantle on a platform that is pushing for real change in our society. Change that recognises the needs of the people who live here and the forces preventing everyone in our society getting their needs met. As an election candidate and volunteer, I've met many constituents who recognise the Labour Party as well as the Liberal Party and so many of the other parties running in this state election are not interested in the people living here. They're interested in making a profit. All too often we hear that politicians are corrupt and crooked, that whoever you vote for, things aren't going to change. As we move through another election during a global pandemic and during the last decade where we have a chance of curtailing runaway climate catastrophe, it's obvious the current system of government cannot handle the task ahead of us. From the blatant handouts to big business by the Liberal Party federally, to the destruction of land authorised here in Western Australia by the Labour Party, the fact is our system of government is owned by big business. Our capitalist society is at a stage where there is so much wealth and power in the hands of a few people that the lawmakers only work to the goal of creating more profit for the few, not to solve the needs of all the people. Socialist Alliance is pushing for a different world, a different type of government, a bottom-up government, a government that is run by the people for the people. We are the only anti-capitalist party running in this election. We're the only party who openly recognise that the problems in our society are symptoms caused by the private ownership of wealth and the power that it ensures. And when we say wealth, we don't mean the home you live in, the car you drive, your television or your toothbrush. We're not talking about personal possessions. We're talking about the mines, the banks, the massive corporations that hold on to all the wealth, to the billions of dollars and the power to control our government. Western Australia is a rich state. The natural beauty of the land that we live on, as well as the minerals that live underground, is valuable. However, the nature of that value is seen very differently between you and I who live here and the corporations that are here exploiting it. These corporations, these oil and gas companies, these multinational organisations that trade in the extraction of natural resources own not only the land, but the governing bodies of the land. Capitalism, the means of production being in the hands of a few, is a society where the many are left completely advantaged. We have precious time left to implement the systematic changes that we need to really combat the climate catastrophe. This election, like the elections before and the ones going forward, is a climate election. Labour, the party that supports and allows for fracking, is not a party interested in tackling climate change, and the Liberal Party even less so. The anti-vaxxer, white nationalist and religious extremist parties don't care about the actual tangible issues in our society. When you vote one for Socialist Alliance, you're voting in a preferential voting system. Our preferences flow onto the Greens Party and eventually the Labour Party. You're voting for climate twice and you're voting against the Liberal Party. You're also telling people in these capitalist parties that we want change. Now, whilst the change necessary in this society is going to come from many directions, our political system is a real force of power that is being used against us. Like all these levers in our society that control power, we, the people, need to take control of it. Yes, we need a citizens' assembly for the climate catastrophe, and that assembly needs legitimate power. That legitimate power in this society right now is seen in our legislative assemblies and councils. The more socialist, the more anti-capitalist representation we can have in our government, the more hope we have in implementing collective solutions to tackling the systematic problems of our society. This fight does not end here. It does not end on March 13th. And it certainly didn't start here. Indigenous people in this land have been living through, fighting against, and suffering under imperialist capitalism since the first settlers arrived and started exploiting the land in the quest for profits. I'm honoured and humbled to be running with Marianne McKay and Sam Wainwright and to be able to give my spirit to our fight. We really appreciate your support and ask that you please help us push the message that change is possible. We don't have to keep ping-ponging between two capitalist parties who do not care about our health and safety, who are not willing to go against the forces that are risking our collective destruction, and who are unable to give people the hope and inspiration needed to have us all work together to collectively reshape our society. I'm Dirk Kelly, candidate for South Metropolitan Region, urging you to vote one Socialist Alliance.